dear students today we are going to discuss about the lcao approximation as per this method the formation of orbitals is because of the linear combination of atomic orbitals which combine to form a molecule now in this method suppose if we consider the wave function of two atoms suppose psi a and psi b two atoms a plus b that denotes by their wave function psi a plus psi b and when these two wave functions combine then there is a formation of molecular orbital that is psi m o this molecular orbital form either by the addition of these two atomic orbitals or by the subtraction of these two atomic orbitals means the molecular orbital psi m o is formed either by addition of psi a plus psi b or by the subtraction of psi a minus psi b now when the addition of wave function take place then there is a formation of molecular orbital which we called as bonding molecular orbital means psi m o if it is formed by the addition of psi a plus psi b then this molecular orbital is known as bonding molecular orbital suppose we have taken 1s atomic orbital plus second 1s atomic orbital now these two atomic orbitals combine when these two atomic orbitals combine then there is formation of two molecular orbitals one molecular orbital having lower energy and another molecular orbital having higher energy the lower energy molecular orbital which is called as bonding molecular orbital and higher energy molecular orbital which is called as anti bonding molecular orbital now this bonding molecular orbital is formed due to addition of these two wave function now second anti bonding molecular orbital abmo it is formed due to subtraction of these two wave functions means psi a minus psi b then there is formation of this molecular orbital which is called as anti bonding molecular orbital then we have to consider the difference between bit difference between the bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital now in bonding molecular orbital there is the addition of wave function take place that is psi a plus psi b then there is formation of bonding molecular orbital second point during the formation of bonding molecular orbital the electron density increases between the two combining nuclei means here there is a addition of molecular orbital this bonding molecular orbital take place due to addition of these two atomic orbitals here one nuclei one nuclei here the bonding molecular orbital form and in this bonding molecular orbital the electron density increases between the these two combining nuclei means during the formation of bonding molecular orbital the electron density increases between the two combining nuclei see here there is a electron density increases between the two combining nuclei third one is the the new bonding molecular orbital has a lower energy than the corresponding atomic orbital see here these two atomic orbitals but 
this bonding molecular orbital having lower energy than this combining atomic orbital therefore this bonding molecular orbital uh, provides a favorable situation for the formation of bond between the two atoms means there suppose it is the hydrogen here hydrogen in this bonding molecular orbital there is a formation of bond between these two hydrogens so bonding molecular orbital provides a favorable situation for the formation of bond between these two atomic orbital now in anti bonding molecular orbital this anti bonding molecular orbital form due to subtraction of these two atomic orbital means psi ab homo form due to psi a minus psi b now during the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital the electron density decreases between the two combining nuclei here the electron density decreases between these two combining nuclei and hence there is a formation of node between these two atomic orbitals electron density decreases and hence there is a node between these two atomic orbitals the new anti bonding molecular orbital form having a higher energy than these two combining atomic orbitals see here the energy of atomic orbitals and anti bonding molecular orbital having higher energy than these two atomic orbitals hence it provides a unfavorable situation for the formation of bond between the two atoms means there is no formation of bond between this anti bonding molecular orbital it provides a unfavorable situation this anti bonding molecular orbital provides the unfavorable situation for the formation of bond between these two atoms so this is all over about the lco approximation bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital thank you